afternoon. My name is Kathy Mitchell, and I am presenting my leadership book review and partial fulfillment of Nursing 5343 Leadership and Complex Healthcare Systems. My book choice was John C. Maxwell's The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. One of the greatest things that I discovered while reading this book was one of the quotes by John C. Maxwell. Um, a great leader's courage to fulfill his vision comes from passion and not position. John C. Maxwell, I think, as leaders, if we will remember this every day, um, we will uh, make sure that we always lead in, the, in, a, in a better direction for our followers. My author's qualifications, Mr. Maxwell is a New York Times best-selling author. He was internationally recognized as a leadership expert. He has sold over 13 million books. He was named the world's top leadership guru by leadershipgurus.net. He is one of only 25 authors and artists to Amazon's, to be named to Amazon's 10th anniversary hall of fame. Mr. Maxwell, um, has three of his books, including the 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader, that have sold over one million copies to date. <clears throat> Mr. Maxwell's purpose for writing this book um, was to teach how leadership works and encourage leaders to lead from the inside. Maxwell describes the greatest and most important quality that a leader can have is character. Maxwell stated, <clears throat> I have written this book to help you recognize, develop, and redefine personal characteristics needed to be a truly effective leader, the kind of leader that people want to follow. His target audience is leaders who need to develop characteristics that attract others and get them to follow. Maxwell believes there are 21 characteristics that all good leaders possess. Some of the strengths and the shortcomings of the book, the strengths that I know are to the point. It's a quick read for um, those of us in the uh, master's program. That's uh, very uh, valuable. Most of us have jobs and children at home, and we have to balance work and life, so to have a, a quick read is a, is a good thing. Um, it's easily read, and the chapters are broken down by one characteristic at a time. One of the things that um, Mr. Maxwell uh, recommended while reading his book is to only read one chapter at a time and absorb that chapter and take it back to work with you and, and think about that quality and the qualities and the leaders that you have in your organization and apply that quality or that characteristic to your leaders and decide um, which one of your... Um, middle managers or the leaders that you have up under you um, have that strength that you're studying at the time um, and not to read it, just sit down and read it in a 20 minute time, time span. The book builds nicely. It begins with the characteristic of character and ends with a vision. Um, each chapter ends with a daily takeaway that leaves the reader inspired. Um, the shortcomings in the book, it's a spinoff you know, um, of the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership. And much like the sequel to a movie, um, naming the book using the number 21 in both takes away from the importance of these points. And, and of course, again, that is a, a personal opinion. Um, objectives. Maxwell achieved his ob objectives very well. He began by stating that the purpose of his book was to assist the reader and recognition and development of the 21 characteristics that create a great leader. He recognized, or excuse me, he researched the book by meeting with other successful leaders to determine the qualities that were essential. He then utilized the top 21 in his book to the leader. He wanted the reader to understand that true leadership comes from within, and if you master that, you will become the leader you want to on the outside. Maxwell certainly made each quality clear and how to accomplish it as well. This book sold over one million copies. <clears throat> Recommendations. I would certainly recommend this book to the following. Any new leader that you have in your organization, and also your seasoned leaders who have changed positions either by moving into a higher leadership role, 
or another organization, it would be very helpful at that time to help them to understand the qualities that they have in their managers. And any leader who seems to be struggling to find their niche in leadership or struggling to establish themselves in an organization that has trust issues from previous leaders. In conclusion, Mr. Maxwell's The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Good Leader is a must read for anyone who wants to lead by example. <clears throat> I'll leave you with a quote um, that he cited in his um, book in 1999. Leadership is the capacity and the will to rally men and women to a common purpose and the character which inspires confidence.